I guess. Unless you're the San Diego Chargers. Now, the Chargers had possibly and most likely their last game in San Diego. Now, if you watch the end of the game or watch the video of it, there's tons of video on YouTube uh, you know, showing from fans' reactions up in the stands to on the field and actual CBS broadcast of the game that shows uh, you know, players and, and how the – even uh, on the PA system, the PA announcer said, hey, Phillip Rivers, Malcolm Floyd, Antonio Gates are now being subbed out the rest of the game. It's like 30 seconds left. And, you know, they all cheered for them and whatnot. Honestly, it is pretty sad. I, I am a Chargers fan. And, you know, it it is upsetting that it might be the last game in San Diego. You know, I've already said wh- how I felt about Chargers moving to L.A. and why I'm in favor of it. Um, you know, would I like to see San Diego have a new stadium and ha- still be calling the San Diego Chargers? Absolutely. I have nothing against San Diego. I love San Diego. I've been there one time for two hours, <laughs> and I absolutely loved it. As much as I could see of it, I absolutely loved San Diego, California. But at the same time, if... People are not willing to show up, which is no guarantee in L.A. they would either. You know, I'm, I'm understanding of that. If fans in San Diego aren't willing to show up throughout the season and make it basically an 18-game road schedule for the San Diego Chargers, what is the point of saying in San Diego? Yes, for those fans that actually do go to the games that are in San Diego or nearby that actually do travel, that are season ticket holders, or even just fans that can go every now and then. I understand money is tight. Trust me. I know money is tight. And if I was in San Diego, I'd do my best to go to a game. I would love to. But I understand with money, you can't go to every single game. You can't be a season ticket holder. But the fact that this is an NFL franchise that cannot even host a home game without being outnumbered, you know, almost – what six to one of away fans to Chargers fans at at the home game? That's embarrassing. Why would you want to stay? It makes no sense. And I understand the Qualcomm Stadium is not a beautiful stadium. It's one of the ugliest NFL stadiums out there. But it's time to move on. It whether I know whether it's the owners and Dean Spanos, whether it's them not wanting to stay in San Diego and really didn't push forward for a brand new stadium in San Diego. Whether it was the city of San Diego not wanting to get a brand new stadium with public or private money, whatever whatever the account is, it's simple that there are not enough Chargers fans in San Diego that are willing to buy tickets to go to the games, whether we suck or whether we're good. Because even when we're good the past couple years, or at least had a chance to make the playoffs, we have always been outnumbered at home. You, t- you, any NFL owner staring at that. Imagine how Jerry Jones is gonna feel when he sees there are more other fans than Cowboys fans in that stadium, other than Texans games. I understand the Texans game, but any other fans? It's it's ridiculous. That's that's not what you want. So, most likely the last game in San Diego for the Chargers. It was a, it was pretty sad to watch. No, it's mainly sad to watch knowing that these careers are almost at an end. Malcolm Floyd most likely gone. He's going to retire uh, after the 2015 season. He says he's still going to try to play, but who really knows? Mike Cypher is the punter who's been there for the Chargers for the longest time. He might retire. It's back and forth uh, reports on that. Antonio Gates, he might be done. Phillip Rivers has maybe three years left in him, depending on who. <laughs> If he can get an offensive line, he might only have one year left because he's just getting beat up every game. It, it, that was more sad. It was more sad because, you know, these players are most likely done. Uh, or at least ending, you know, getting close to the end of their careers. But overall, um, you know, I wish the best for the Chargers. All I hope is no matter where we are next year, can we can Chargers fans that are listening, or if you know of a Chargers fans, let them know. Let's start something here. Can we switch uniforms? Can we go back to the dark blue, dark face mask helmets back when we had in 2006? I'm not going to have to describe it again. The uniforms that we had in 2006 and back to like the late 90s. I want those uniforms back. It made us look fear, you know, fearsome. It made us look strong. It made them look tougher instead of these uniforms that we have now because I hate these uniforms. I truly do. And we've sucked in these uniforms, really. 
anyways, that's all I have to say about the Chargers and moving on. St. Louis, whether they move, I personally want St. Louis to stay. I want Oakland to stay as the Raiders. Oakland get a brand new stadium too because that stadium sucks as well. Raiders get a new stadium, which is most likely the least possible thing that's going to happen. If the Raiders can stay in Oakland, if the Rams can stay in St. Louis, and the Chargers can either stay or move to L.A., that's that's my perfect dream. 